So what is Capto? Well, Capto is ultimately a putting analysis software um, that was developed by Luca Menzi. Um, so they are a company based out of uh, Italy. So that's why we're kind of stepping in to help with the uh, translation of a few things. So it is used for, or it can be used to assess players. It can be used to, um, to validate or verify what you're doing with a player. If you're making a change to their putting stroke, uh, Capto is a great way to uh, not only get insight into what they're currently doing within their stroke, but it can also help you validate what you're doing with that player. Um, and there are also some cool features within it that, that can help the player uh, improve if, if you're not around uh, necessarily as well. And it can be used for club fitting as well. We'll get into that a little bit later. So these are some of the specs and details that um, I, I kind of get asked these questions a lot. It, it only weighs 47 grams. So it's a really nice small um, device. So here I have it on my putter. Really small uh, device that goes on the back of the grip. Um, so it doesn't impact your sight line or anything like that. It actually has 14 sensors inside of, uh, of the product itself, nine measurement sensors, five calibration sensors. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna go into the details as far as what those sensors are. You can read them on the screen if you're really interested. It uh, can be used indoors and outdoors. Uh, nice thing about it, I don't know if anybody here uses Sam Putt Lab. I used to be a Sam Putt Lab guy prior to, to using Capto. Um, uh, so Capto actually puts out its own Wi-Fi signal, which is really nice because you get no interference of any kind. I had some issues at some point, not to knock on Sam. I love Sam Putt Lab. I'm not saying that you shouldn't use it, but um, when, when I was using Sam Putt Lab outdoors, you know, A, it took me a little while to set it up, but B, if it was windy, all of a sudden my graphs um, kind of got thrown off that electromagnetic field, started to have some interference from the wind, and then usually my acceleration graphs kind of got all over the place. So because it's putting out its own Wi-Fi signal, you never have any issues with connection, um, and it's, it's a very stable connection, so you always get reliable data. Uh, it can also capture up to 400 frames per second. When you first download the software, it's gonna set itself to 300 frames per second. Uh, you can change that anywhere from 100 up to the 400 frames. If you go to 400 frames, just be careful. Uh, if your computer cannot handle that fast of a capture rate, your battery might be dying pretty quick. So it's usually kind of stock or standard set to 300 frames per second. But the nice thing about that is you're not missing any second of any putt. It is capturing so much data during a stroke um, that you are getting the most accurate information as far as what the putter is doing at any given moment throughout that stroke. Another nice thing, it is compatible with Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android devices. So I actually have it set up on my MacBook, which is what we're gonna be doing the uh, display on today. And I also have it on a Windows tablet. Um, and I've also, both of those died on me one day. I think I forgot to charge them. So I downloaded the app onto my iPhone and I was still able to capture putts on that. So it's really nice, easy to use um, across multiple platforms and you can share data throughout all those platforms so you never run into any issues of uh, not having a player's data, uh, depending on what device you're using. So let's go ahead and look at the actual Capto platform here. 